Today is the day they call Mahabharata. That really means the great invitation. Once a year at the end of the rains, the monks have been living together now for three months. They're ready to, in the old days, they'd be ready to go. Of course, with the, the virus and everything, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. But this would be the time for them to reflect on their behavior and for each monk to give leave to the other monks to criticize him in case they either have seen or heard or suspected that he's committed an offense without confessing it. We're talking about major offenses here. And if there's no complaint, no accusation, then it's like a stamp of approval. They've lived together for three months. This monk has been behaving himself. The important thing about the day is that it, you do make yourself open to criticism. During the rest of the year, if someone wants to accuse you of something, you have the right to say, no, I'm not going to listen to the accusation, but this is the day when you have to. The rest of the Bawadana has to do with accusations about offenses against the monk's rules. But you can take it as a principle. An important part of learning is being open to criticism. As the Buddha said, you want to observe your behavior to make sure you're not doing anything unskillful, but then your eyes may be skewed in a certain direction, so you miss certain things. It's always good to have the viewpoints of others, especially valuable the viewpoints of those you respect. Listen to their criticism, learn from them. And that's how your own eyes begin to grow and become more all around. Now, for the monks, one of the rules is that you listen to criticism wherever it comes from. It doesn't mean that you necessarily adopt the critics' recommendations, but you show respect. Because you never know. Sometimes people you expect the least out of may have observed something that everybody else misses. So if you're open to criticism, you're opening yourself up to learn. And as you said many times, the sense of self that comes around the Priding yourself in the fact that you are willing to learn. That's the best sense of self. That's the best sense of pride. So even though this is just one day out of the year, it sets an example. As the Buddha said, you live in a community, you learn from the community. You open yourself up to other people's criticism, because if they point out something that you haven't seen, you know, some fault in yourself that you haven't seen. The, the Buddha compares it to someone who's pointed out treasure. Here's an opportunity to gain something really valuable, to learn how to look at yourself in a more all-around way, and to correct faults that you may not have seen. To so try to adopt that attitude, that if you're going to have a sense of self, make it a sense of self around the fact that you're willing to learn. And you're willing to take criticism. That sense of self will take you far on the path. <laughs>